in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's short message is to President Obama and the previous President uh, Bush and the coming presidents. I am delivering or giving this message being a being an American patriot and well-wisher of this country. This is my honor and privilege to share this message to my presidents, previous, current and future ones. Just for the clarification sake. Because the president of this country, America, must not use those words, which goes against his personality and against the level of America, standard of America style of style and a standard of the president of America because when people hear people of America who has chosen the uh, presidents American presidents for this country when they hear the messages the interviews the speeches then the critical analysis pops up about the speeches, about the interviews, about the talks of the presidents. When the president, any president of America says that the terrorists are not Muslims, who are they then? Who are they? What is their background? What is their root? We need to understand that. Just to know who are the terrorists, good Muslims, bad Muslims, Muslims, we will just go through the clarification today. That clarification is especially for the presidents of America. For that, I will use the book of Bukhari, volume 4, Hadith number 2782. It's very interesting one for the clarification. It says, there are a heap of references. The specific one is about jihad. Who is involved in jihad? jihad? And what is the, the, the clarification about? It says, Hadith, volume 4 of Bukhari, Hadith number 2782, page 44, and its footnotes about jihad. It says, Al-Jihad, in bracket, holy fighting. In Allah's cause, again in Bratting, with full force of numbers and weaponry, bracket close, is given the utmost importance in Islam, in Islam, Islam, not only terrorism, not terrorists only, not good people, not bad people, not moderate people, Islam, one word, Islam, and is one of its pillars. In bracket again, it says, on which it stands. By jihad, Islam is established. What is established? Islam. Not terrorists are established. Not moderate Muslims are established. Not good Muslims are established. Not bad Muslims are established. Islam. 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 One word. Allah's word is made superior. In bracket. 
his word being la ilaha illallah which means none has the right to be worshiped but allah bracket close and its religion in bracket islam 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 not terrorism not terrorist terrorists not good people not good muslims not bad people not bad muslims not moderate muslim is propagated i repeat that and his religion islam is propagated propagated by abandoning jihad in bracket again may allah protect us from it islam and the muslims fall into an inferior position if they don't do jihad they will go down their honor is lost look at that their land is stolen their rule and authority vanish they have to do they got to do the jihad otherwise they will go down they cannot live the peaceful life peaceful life is not part of islam according to this all jihad is an obligatory uh, obligatory duty in islam jihad is an ob obligatory duty in islam 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 on every muslim on every muslim on every muslim islam muslim islam muslim muslim islam muslim islam not terrorists only not uh, good muslims not bad muslims not uh, moderate muslims when they do the jihad every muslim is involved in that the practical do it or not it is from them by them of them or of them by them for them they always can come with the same accusations this speaker supports death penalty for homosexuals. This speaker supports death penalty for this crime or this crime or that. He is homophobic. He, they subjugate women, etc., etc., etc. It's the same old stuff coming all the time. And we always try to tell them, I always try to tell them that, look, it's not that speaker that we're inviting who has these extreme radical views, as you say. These are general views that every Muslim actually has. Every Muslim believes in these things. Just because they're not telling you about it, or just because they're not out there in the media, doesn't mean they don't believe in them. So I will ask you, everyone in the room, how many of you are normal Muslims, you're not extremists, you're not radical, this is normal Sunni Muslims. Please raise your hands. Everybody, mashaAllah, subhanAllah. Okay, take down your hands again. How many of you agree that men and women should sit separate? Please raise your hands. Everyone agree. Everyone agree, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. So, so it's not just these radical sheikhs then. Allahu Akbar. Next question. How many of you agree that the punishments described in the Quran and the Sunnah, whether it is death, whether it is stoning for adultery, whatever it is, if it is from Allah and His Messenger, that is the best punishment ever possible for humankind and that is what we should apply in the world well, who, who agrees with that Allahu Akbar are you all the radical extremists subhanallah so all of you are saying that you are common Muslims you all go to the different massages no way or is it are you like a specific sect like the Islam net sect or anything like that are you like that no is it, are you like that? Please raise, your, please raise your hand if you like this extreme Islam, that sect or anything like that. No one. Allahu Akbar. How many of you just go to these normal mas masajids in Norway? Every, the normal Sunni mosques. Please raise your hands. 
Allah Akbar. So what's, what's the politicians going to say now? What is the media going to say now? That we're all extremists? We're all radicals? We need to deport all of us from this country? Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Look at that jihad. That is the clarification. My presidents, my honorable presidents must understand it in future. Otherwise, they will be misled by somebody. Not for good reasons, for tricky games. And tricky games must not be played in this Christian country. Try not to play it. God has given you a chance to be a president of this country. Try to be a good president under his fear so that your name be written in the book of eternal life, the book of the Lamb, the book of Lord Jesus Christ. He is the owner and master of the eternal life. You should not, presidents, Mr. Presidents, Mr. Presidents, you should not appease Islam. Keep your own people happy, Americans. That is your first choice, first obligation, first duty. The enemies are on the secondary place. They will keep on attacking America on, on, on Christians. Uh, I, I believe that the terrorists have hijacked a peaceful religion in order to justify their behavior. I also want to speak tonight directly to Muslims throughout the world. We respect your faith. It's practiced freely by many millions of Americans and by millions more in countries that America counts as friends. His teachings are good and peaceful. And those who commit evil in the name of Allah blaspheme the name of Allah. It was Islam at places like Uluzab that carried the light of learning through so many centuries, paving the way for Europe's renaissance and enlightenment. I will say that first, Islam is one of the world's great religions. I think all of us recognize that this great religion in the hands of a few extremists has been distorted to justify violence. Both George W. Bush and Barack Obama have declared that Islam is a religion of peace. Anjum Chowdhury begs to differ. You can't say that uh, Islam is a religion of peace because Islam it does not mean peace. Islam is uh, means it's Islam submission. So the Muslim is the one who submits. You know, there's a place for violence in Islam. There's a place for jihad in Islam. So do not appease them, please. Serve the Lord. Do good. Wait for your time. Think that your name should be written in the book of the eternal life of Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.